Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am here on the title screen of a new game. This is not Minecraft, no this is Slime Rancher. And we're going to be taking a look at this. It is in pre-alpha development. And I've already noticed a bug. Let's go into options, go to audio, and watch these, these red guys here. We're going to turn down the volume once they start making some noise. We're in a little cutscene here, so this may be a little different once we get into the game. And I don't know if they're going to do it. Let's turn down the volume. Listen. Master volume and those explosions did not do anything with the, the overall volume. They still, you could still hear them. So anyway, I am running full resolution. Master quality here is on very high. Um, and we're still running 60 frames a second in game and I'm recording at 30 frames a second most of you probably don't care about that let's see what else I've got the music turned down because music tends to cause issues with copyright strikes and I want to make sure I avoid those so without further ado let's take a look at this game so we're going to create a new game I have in full confession mode here I have already started this up and I had to delete the uh, the original footage because Kondrick let me know that the the tutorial world is kept from one save to another so you would not get the full experience by me uh, just starting a fresh game here so I just completely got rid of my existing save data and so hopefully we should go through the whole thing so uh, soaps ranch I guess and we'll click play. It looks to be a really fun game, uh, even from the little walkthrough I already did. Now, let's see. It's going to go through the tutorial. We've got standard WASD for moving. So let's just do this. We've moved forward. And then, yep, there we go. We've got the moving. All right. And then we can jump with space. So these are standard controls if you play Minecraft. And... I'm sorry, if you are coming to Slime Rancher and you've never played Minecraft or you hate Minecraft, um, I am sorry, but that's what I play. It's in my title on the channel, and so I'm going to be comparing this, at least at a superficial level, to Minecraft. So, so yeah, WASD, and then jump is space, and then let's see, anything on shift? No. So let's just collect these guys. And then we need to shoot them into a corral. So we've got a corral over here. Ah, yes, and the tutorial is giving some ways of letting me know that that's the next thing to do. Okay, so got that. What's next on the tutorial? We can go through and collect other things. Got a little chicken here. I don't know. We'll see what to do with those later. And maybe we just finish collecting these slimes here. And we can collect, uh, I think it's up to 20 inside this, inside this backpack. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. You can see on the top, we are in pre-alpha. And it seems as if the developer is rather responsive. So that's good to know. Okay, we'll, we'll drop him in there. And I don't know whether it's a him or her or whether that's just not not the least bit uh, of concern. So for now, what we're going to do, I guess, I guess we can come over here. I would have thought that there were other other things to do in the tutorial, but there we go. Let's pick up some carrots. So as to the point of this game, it looks to be just a, a cute little game. Um, and in terms of the overall point, I don't know what it might be. Let's just make sure we get all those little slimes. I think it's funny they're using the term pink slime because that's usually something you want to avoid. Oh, a bunch of slimes. And we're almost full up. Let's get the carrots, and then... Oh, can't get those. So let's head back 
home. Oh, shift does a little sprint thing. Yeah, let's go back home. And we'll get rid of the pink slime. Yeah, pink slime is something you usually want to avoid. It's a, a little meat product that you put into uh, hamburgers and stuff. McDonald's got into trouble for using that. In trouble with the consumers, not necessarily with the regulatory bodies, because the regulatory body said it was all right. All right, tasty food acquired. Select vac tank are used to feed slimes. So let's go give the slimes some pogo fruit. Okay. And then whenever they eat, they do, they leave something called plorts. And I, I think that's, that's just funny that uh, when they eat, you get those. And we're essentially collecting their leavings which is kind of kind of gross when you think about it but that's what we're collecting here as to the overall point i don't know i we're probably going to get other other slimes oh let's get some more carrots there's supposedly a garden that we could do somewhere how about here nope so anyway let's let's see what uh we need to go to the plort market and access it right here. Press E to activate. So we got the plort market, and we can sell plorts right here. We got pink slime. And this just takes you through. Oh, slimepedia. Okay. Plort market. Feed slimes. Collect plorts. Get paid. So that seems to be the point of it. We need to get plorts, and you get plorts by feeding. Okay, there we go. So we just chuck them in there. And now we've got 334 coins. 334 coins. I don't know what the name of the currency is. But let's see about feeding these guys some more. And we'll see if we can collect some more, some more plorts. Okay, and then we'll... We'll chuck these guys back in. And then see if we can purchase some stuff from the plort market. So, let's see. We'll chuck that in there. Nope. There we go. Very nice. So, there we go. Yep, so this is pre-alpha development. And for pre-alpha, it, it looks pretty good. I, I gotta say. Oh, there we go. We'll put that back in there. And we've got 383. Let's see if we can purchase something. Did we purchase stuff here? I don't know if we can purchase stuff. Oh, this is just where you you throw plorts. Let's see about going over here. And it looks like one of these guys escaped. So get back in there. So we got another plort and... There's some way. Let's go here. We're going to get the automatic plort collector so that we don't have to go through there anymore and collect. And let's just feed these guys so we can collect, collect some more plorts later. And if we come through over here. Nope. So there's nothing there. I don't know what these guys are for. So we got a hen hen, a hearty chicken bread to be twice as tasty as its cousin on earth. What happens if you chuck those in there? And this is supposed to automatically collect plorts. We've spent the money, but it doesn't seem to be doing it. Nothing there. Okay, so... So we'll see. We've got plorts hanging out. But, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, here's the thing. Our day is... Oh, there we go. So it just collected some. Our day, you can see that, is going about 20 minutes. Aha. There we go. We'll get the plorts out of here. We'll go throw those over in the plort market. 
and we're going to call this once the sun goes down we'll we'll just do pretty much a full day night cycle each episode that's what we're going to be working on so this looks to be a really fun game we'll play through as far as we can go and then um, just to give you an idea of how this is going to go we're going to batch record which means that you may end up uh, we may end up with some content coming out in later updates and I won't get to it for a couple of episodes because I will have batch recorded these. So uh, do bear with me. Uh, we'll try. I'm going to watch to see whenever the developer does put out updates. If we um, if we end up getting to a point where they they do something that's going to kill the game save, we may not update who knows? We'll we'll figure that out when the time comes. There we go. So we got that plort. And they are stacking on top of each other. And apparently they work together to try and escape. So we'll see how that goes. But nighttime is upon us. And that, I think, is a good introduction to Slime Rancher. Feel free to go check out the game in the description box below. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.